You're liking this weather, aren't you, buddy? Hmm? You're just watching the kids? Watching the kids have like a recess? Hmm? Yeah. The joys of having the school there, eh? Boy, eh? <laughs> what? Oh, hello, everybody. Well, as you can see, I'm sitting in the Le Mans. I uh, kind of trying to stay out of the, the wind there so that you can actually hear me. It's uh, not a bad day. It's about you know four or five degrees outside. Kind of overcast, but you know what? All the snow's pretty much melted. Kind of smells and feels like spring. So that's not bad, but uh, Sarah started looking at the car today, and uh, I don't think the the winter break has done me any favors. Uh, kind of feeling overwhelmed by it. It's uh, it's definitely uh, a where do I even start type scenario. <laughs> um, that and. Uh, I've noticed whether it be from just it was so rotten or uh, the car cover pulling on it or the winter uh, some more body work and that's kind of fallen off by the wayside um, yeah it's uh, it's a lot it's very like I said very overwhelming uh, I've had a couple moments where I've gone you know what should I just scrap it like it's not even is this even worth it? But uh, no, she's she's here to stay. We'll uh, we'll make her work. Uh, somehow, some way, we'll get through it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, but anyways, the main point of this video is actually that big white thing sitting out there. Finally, did something for it that's fun, and uh, it therefore also for me that's fun. Um, that's got. A exhaust on it now um, not a cat back just a muffler replacement um, the factory system is actually really good on those fourth gen rams it's uh, all uh, stainless steel all mandrel bent it's all the proper size piping for it uh, the only thing they didn't do was splurge on uh, you know shorty headers basically are their log manifolds on it so there's cast manifolds instead of uh taking the time and money and effort and all that to work out a way to mechanize welding headers uh, so there's that and really just the big giant muffler is the only bad thing in that exhaust setup uh but the uh setup's made by a company called solo performance uh, stumbled across them when I had the uh, V6 RAM. Uh, they seem to actually tune their systems to uh, specific vehicles. It's not just a generic muffler that they toss on. Um, it keeps the factory tips. It looks pretty much factory, other than because it doesn't have the there's little alignment nubs on the factory system that this doesn't account for. So kind of shoves the tip out just a little bit, um, but the factory pipes from, uh, keep from the muffler back are still there, that's them, those are the clamps they give you, they're little, uh, V clamps, the only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the muffler itself, is, if I can get under here, style as it were. Um, all the welds look, you know, pretty nice on it. Uh, definitely, you know, so far no leaks. Um, it's a very mellow sound to it. Um, until you get on it, and then it's it's got a little bit of bark, but uh, to me it's what, you know, the Hemi should have sounded like from the factory. Um, it should be a fairly cold start. It'll hit the, the auto start. Um, First I'll hit the uh, 
like the lock so you can hear the horn from here because everybody that owns one of these they'll be looking to know what this sounds like uh knows how loud the horn is so you can adjust your volume in that and sorry for the wind uh hopefully it's not too bad when i review this but there's the remote start So that's a cold start. It's not uh, not moved in quite a little while there. It's going to be stone cold. Uh, whew, yeah, smell the richness. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> but uh, I won't keep this video too terribly long. Um, I'll see about another day when it's not quite as windy and uh, maybe when the thing's warmed up. I'll actually do some revs because I'm not one of these people like I, I like my truck I really don't want uh, to hurt it by doing a bunch of revs when the oil is still at you know zero degrees Celsius as it were and I'm, I'm not going to do that you can already, like if you come up front you can hear it ticking a little bit just because the oil is cold it's not circulating very well um, so I'm gonna I'll wait and do a warm warmed up video on a, on a nicer day of what it actually sounds like driving down the way and you know driving by but uh yeah so that's that's been my excitement and obviously something's moved this is uh still around if anybody's forgot <laughs> um might sort of pop in here just to get out of the wind but um Yeah, this is still here. Still no floors. Still gotta get that. But before I get all the wood put in, I'm on set. Before I get all the wood put in here, um, I need to uh, go ahead and get all this painted, uh, or at least primed. Uh, now the problem is, as you can see, this is that bare all winter uh, obviously it's just surface rust it's not hurting it right now really but I've got to get it uh, properly primed um, I'm gonna look into uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Eastwood's uh, rust encapsulator which can go over bare metal aka that and rust um, so I'll try to knock down whatever I can inside and out and uh, spray it with that just to prime it and then once it's primed I can paint it I'm thinking Duplicolor's got a spray bomb and enamel uh, it's a enamel high like fleet coating I guess is what they, they call it um, and that's uh, that should be that should be pretty good. Um, I know enamel stuff's pretty tough. That's what they use on, you know, for wheel paint and engine paint and that. And that should do all right by this. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look perfect. It's just gotta be functional and look all right. You know, I don't wanna be embarrassed by it as it were. <laughs> and then once that's done, I can wire the thing, put all the new lights, because uh, right now it has nothing. Those are. That's the only old one up top that's left. That's an actual light. That's just a little reflector. There's no tail lights on it. Nothing for the plate. I have to basically wire and run everything for it. I have to do new brakes, uh, pack the bearings. I'm actually missing two lug nuts. Ta-da! I don't know where they went. Uh, actually, apparently I'm missing more than two. That's good. Yeah. I'm missing more than two. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so yeah, I need a full new set of lug nuts now, not just a couple. Cool. Um, yeah, so we gotta do that. And I think them is done. Well, oh, other than getting the floors in. Yeah. So prime it, get the wood up inside, paint it, wire it. Do the brakes, do the bearings, get the floor in, call it a day. Then the focus can go from that to that, which like I said, 
it's uh, uh it's yeah <laughs> it's starting to feel overwhelming oh well we'll get there might as well quickly show you before I say goodbye might as well quickly show you this this is what I'm talking about this was already bubbling you can kind of see it there it's all bubbled up and whatnot but that came off you can see that layer of bondo that was there paint a little bit of metal yeah uh, we'll see we'll get her there anyways uh that's my rant and ramble for now uh, i think i'm gonna go inside and try to have some lunch and uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Talk to you guys later.